Merry Christmas, YouTube. Is it Christmas? <laughs> Today? I'm Matt, and I react to comedians or comedy sketches that I've never seen before. My lolometer down here in the corner is going to count every time I laugh out loud during this video. I do hope you've had an amazing Christmas day and you enjoyed your turkey and your sprouts. Sprouts? So it is Christmas then. And I hope you're ready to have some laughs. Tis the season to be merry. This time around, I'm hoping for a Christmas miracle because I've had Michael McIntyre videos blocked left, right and centre. So I'm hoping that this time around, I'm going to get away with it for Christmas. So here's Michael McIntyre on Christmas. In my favourite festival of them all, it's Christmas! Oh so yeah, Christmas, it's all happening now, isn't it? It's all happening. All oh, the women, the women, you can see, they get that sort of organisational look in their eye. It's just completely obsessed with planning. I've got to get ready, I've got to get ready. I've got so much to think about. It happens, I think, at, at the final firework on fireworks night, when you, you have the finale. And the smoke clears and you see all the women going, Christmas. <laughs> got to start getting ready for Christmas, man. Christmas is coming. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking, I'm planning. I need so... There's so much to do, darling! <laughs> Men do the tree. I love, I love getting my tree and putting my tree up in my house. Come, darling, see the tree I chose. <laughs> Big, bushy tree. And then you decorate it. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? And one of the main things you have to do when decorating a tree, as we all know, is you have to make sure that the plug is right at the back and the wire so you can't see it, so it doesn't ruin the aesthetic. The problem with this, of course, is that every night, you leave it on because it looks so lovely, then you're halfway up the stairs and you stop. And you think, there could be a fire. Which means that literally every night of December, before bed, I'm downstairs, under the tree. Down the tree. <laughs> I need to just... Some, Danny, can you help me? I can't reach the button. The button. <laughs> I tell you what. December. Prime time! For sellotape and scissors. <laughs> so these two really come into their own, isn't it? You all, by the way, everyone in this room has sellotape and scissors, and you think you know where they are. <laughs> they're probably not there. Because they're always on the move. You're sitting there going, I actually know where my sellotape and scissors are, but no, not when you want them. Not when you bloody want them! <laughs> You'll be opening the drawer. I thought they were. Who's moved the scissors? <laughs> they move on their own, the scissors. They're crafty little bastards. And the sellotape, as soon as you leave the sellotape unattended, it will wind itself up when you're not looking. <laughs> Days on end of December are spent with me just looking round the tape. I could... How could this have happened? Surely soon or soon I will find a way in. And look at your watch. I think I've been here now for three days. And then you find it. Finally, I'm in. And you get some kind of weird backward triangle bit. I'm not in. I thought I was in, but I'm not in. Sometimes you give up. I am not going to look for the scissors anymore. I'm going to buy new scissors. I don't care. I don't need to spend my whole life looking for scissors. I'm going to get new scissors. You think you've won. You think you've won, don't you? You get your new scissors. I've got some new scissors. Forget the old scissors. I'm going to spend my whole life looking for those babies. Here's my new scissors. Then you realise that the scissors come in a plastic packaging that closely... <laughs> closely covers the scissors. And you can't get in... unless you have scissors. <laughs> the very thing you need is staring at you through the plastic window. And they look at you, don't they? Find a way in, dickhead. <laughs> you can't, can you? Go on, find your old scissors. You thought you'd won. You haven't won. We've won. The scissors have won. <laughs> <laughs> Most people use the scissors in the classic scissor way, don't they? They cut. This is, you know how to use scissors. You get the paper. You, know, you see how much you might need. Then you start cutting like that. That's how people cut. But there are some people amongst us. Gifted, special people. The gliders. <laughs> These people are amazing. Hidden within normal society. <laughs> Some could even do the ribbon thing. <laughs> Most of us, we're not gifted in this way. But every single year, each and every non-gifted glider Attempts the glide. <laughs> Make sure that nobody is looking. We try and do something we've seen other people do. I think you probably just push it there. 
I've ruined the paper. So I've ruined the paper. It was supposed to go sh and it went pfft. I will save my next attempt for next year. <laughs> it's for the kids, isn't it, Christmas? There, it's Christmas, it is. It's a, it's a time for the kids. And there are people in this room who do have children. And there are people in this room who don't have children. And the people who don't have children, um, they think they know, don't they? They think they know. They, think they know what it means to have children. Sometimes they chat about it, don't they? And they're little couples, you know, oh, I'd love to start a family one day with you. It'd be lovely. You'd make a really good dad. Oh, I think you'd be an amazing mum. So, wouldn't it be so lovely having little, little, little versions of you and me running around? I'd love to have a family. And you think you know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You have no idea what it's like. You have no idea how difficult, how difficult things will become in your life. Things that you don't even consider to be things will become nearly impossible when you have children. I'm talking about things like leaving the house, for example. <laughs> this is how people without children leave the house. Shall we leave the house? Yes. This is how I leave the house almost every day. Lucas, Oscar, come downstairs. We're late. Why aren't you downstairs? Put your shoes on. I don't know where my shoes are. Put your shoes on. Go and find your shoes. Where did you see them last? On my feet. After that, get your shoes on. Come here, come here. Arms up, arms up, arms in, arms in, arms up, arms up, arms in. That's my wife. She's so tired, she can't dress herself. Huh? Arms in, what arms, darling? Where are we going? I want to go to bed. Where are we going, darling? Darling, you've got Lucas's shoes on your hands. I found your shoes, darling. You put your shoes on. Where's Ozzy? Come downstairs! We're late! Put your coat on. I don't want to wear my coat. You, you know people without children? You know how you do zips up? I've seen how much time you have in your lives. How you focus on it. You get the one with the fabric. You just pop it in, don't you? Nestles in. Then you pause, thinking about your free life and what you might want to do with it later that day. And then you just glide up, don't you? <laughs> to think I have time for that shit in my life. <laughs> Every single morning. There are fruit. Stay still. You're gonna have to put another coat on. I can't, I've ruined this it. I've ruined this it. I'm sorry, I've made the situation work. Ozzy! My three-year-old will never come downstairs. The only way to get him to leave the house is we have to bluff. We have to pretend that we're leaving without him. It's the only way it'll work. We have to all go, bye-bye, Ozzy. We're all going then. We're all going. My, my other son loves it, the six-year-old. We're leaving Ozzy. We're going to stay here. I hate him. I hate him. Don't be so rude about your brother. Say goodbye. We're not really leaving. We're pretending to leave, OK? Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ozzy. Bye-bye. But he doesn't care. He just goes, bye-bye. <laughs> Then we have to come back in and explain to him, we're not really leaving, darling, we love you, it's OK. I'll buy you something if you come. Will you come if I buy you something? <laughs> this is every single time we leave the house. The other day, we're leaving the house, and I just had enough. I just said to my wife, I'm sorry, I can't do this. We're bluffing, we're saying bye-bye to him. Then my wife says, let's go and get him. I'm like, stop, no, I've had it. No, stop. I cannot go through this every single time we leave the house. <laughs> He's driving me insane, OK? I say, we, I say we call his bluff. I think he has to learn a lesson, OK? <laughs> Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go to Corfu. Let's have a nice holiday. <laughs> You've no idea what it's like. You childless people. You've no idea. Driving. You go driving. You drive in cars, don't you? Driving along. Yay! What's the biggest drama you have to put up with? Oh, it's a bit chilly. Oh, put the blower on. Oh, that's nice now. Oh, oh. oh look, they've opened a new Carluccio. We should go there. We could go there any night. We could go there any night. <laughs> Oh, what's this song? I love this one. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> I strap my children into the car. I work out what'll cut off the blood supply, then I ease it a bit. Stay there! <laughs> we try and behave normally. Oh, what's this song? It's the wheels on the bus. <laughs> again, again! <laughs> Look, there's a new Carluccio's there. We will never go there. <laughs> I was checking my children in the rearview mirror to see that they're safe. We're on the motorway, OK? I look, you just angle it to check that they're both OK, because, you know, you're looking after them. Neither of them were there. <laughs> they had both wound the windows down and had their heads on the motorway out of the window. Yay! <laughs> both of them, either side. Yay! <laughs> my wife and I just lost it. Get out of the car! <laughs> they can't hear us. They're 
having the times of their lives. Yeah! I can't believe what you said, Daddy! <laughs> On the motorway, going 80 miles an hour to stick my head out of my window <laughs> to try and communicate with my child. Get in the car! <laughs> what are you saying? My wife's doing it too. Get in the car! What is it, Daddy? <laughs> All four of us had our heads out of the window. <laughs> A childless couple is driving past. Oh, look at the kids. I'd love to start a family one day. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping at night. <laughs> this is how people without children. Yeah, most nights, yeah. Good night, darling. Good night. Good night. Sometimes you go, sleep well, and the other one goes, I will. I will. <laughs> That's how cocky, how arrogant you are. <laughs> I will, I know I will. Good night, darling. Have a good sleep. <laughs> good night. It's been a long time since my wife and I said good night to each other, OK? <laughs> now we just go, good luck. <laughs> good luck to each other. All through the night, they're screaming, Daddy, Daddy, that Robin, Robin. Sometimes they just wake up wide awake in the middle of the night. I'm asleep, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I wait, you know when sometimes you just, you don't realise it, but you sort of half open your eyes. Sometimes when you're asleep, I half open my eyes. My son is in my face. Ah! What the hell are you doing here? What time is it? What time is it? Two o'clock in the morning, what do you want? I want to go to school. Go to school? What are you talking about? It's to go, go back to bed. I've got my shoes on. You do, you found your shoes. <laughs> I fixed my jacket. What are you doing? It's two o'clock in the morning, you idiot! Go to bed! Where's Ozzy? He's by the front door. He's never been there in his life! It's two in the morning! I have no idea. OK, well... Oh, uh, Michael McIntyre, that slayed me. No pun intended. Would you like some magazines to read while he goes through his repertoire of Christmas jokes? Uh, oh, that was amazing. I love that guy. He's great. And I, I have tried to react to him before, but my videos have been blocked. Uh, so, as I said, I'm hoping for a Christmas miracle and I'm hoping that you all get to see this. I have a son who's five and um, so much of that stuff is so relatable. Um, and it's just absolutely hilarious. Um, the parallel of uh, the family and the uh, the childless couple is just hilarious and so tr so true anyway i hope you've all had a fabulous christmas and all the best for the new year and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it drop a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and i'll see you next time